ciebie przyjść nie mogę. Zaraz idę w noc i mrok. I'm really happy to be here at the MC of the Republic of Poland in London to play a special concert for Baku UK with visuals specially created by Hannah Lovell in cooperation with the Polish Institute at Sikorsky Museum in London, the Royal Air Force Museum in Hendon and the Warsaw Uprising Museum in Poland. Extremely excited here to be playing as well with Scott Pipe. What did you think of the music? The music was beautiful. I, I am enjoying your music uh, always. <laughs> I was uh, impressed. The way how you link uh, your performance with the history, your Polish roots, it is really, really moving. Thank you very much indeed. To było wspaniałe, naprawdę zawsze jesteśmy za, e, za, zaszczyceni tym, że możemy tutaj być z Tobą e, i so, e, słuchać Twoich piosenek, szczególnie po polsku, bo to jest bardzo wzruszające, jak śpiewasz po polsku, tak pięknie śpiewasz. Oh, I was really touched, really, really, really. She just brought me from here to the past. Her voice is really amazing and her roots are from uh, highlands in Poland. I will be noticed that in the temper of her voice, just special, I don't know how to say it in English, uh, vibration. <laughs> Tremolo. <laughs> yeah, it's really typical, yeah, for the Polish Highlanders. And today concert was great. Uh, KT, congratulations. Uh, well done. It was a pleasure to, to listen to you and your beautiful voice and, and your passion for Holland, passion for Polish people and British people. I was very touched. We all were very touched because KT is not just a regular singer. She is one of very few people who really understand not just the history of Poland, but she understands how much effort and how much blood, how much sacrifice has been taken by the Poles during the Second World War. I thought tonight's Bark UK fundraiser concert was fantastic, especially Katie's work because of her clearly personal connection to, as she mentioned, you know, her Polish history, her Polish blood was very powerful and could only serve to strengthen communities here in the UK like the people that Barker UK work with and those back in Poland um, such as the Barker community of I'm Tony McBurdy, I'm from Thames Reach which is another homelessness charity operated in London and it was a really wonderful event. Katie was very good, she pulled her Polish culture and the Polish story about homelessness and about the war, pulled it all together in a most beautiful and inspiring way Very, and helped the charity. Na pewno najważniejsze. Po pierwsze, 15 lat nie piję, jako osoba uzależniona od alkoholu. Po drugie, robię to, co chcę robić, co mi sprawia przyjemność. A powiedz mi, Janusz, miałeś bardzo trudny czas w Polsce. 20 lat na ulicy żyłem. Na ulicy żyłaś. Powiedz mi, dlaczego barka jest bardzo ważna dla ludzi, którzy są w bardzo trudnej sytuacji? Tak mnie angażowano do różnych rzeczy, że ja nie miałem nawet czasu, kiedy myśleć, czy nawet czasu nie było czasu, żeby się wyspać. Tak. Czyli by nie było myśli o alkoholu, o nawrocie pójścia do picia. Tak. A powiedz mi, co myślałeś o moim koncercie dzisiaj? Na pewno największe wrażenie mi czerwone maki zrobiły na tak. mnie. Bo... A po drugie, ten przerywnik, ten film był bardzo ważny. Tak. I Dywizja 303 i w ogóle te przerywniki były bardzo ważne. Super koncert, naprawdę wspaniały. Ja byłem na czterech twoich koncertach, a ten dzisiejszy to Brakowało mi tej wschodniej piosenki Sokołu. Sej Sokoły, tak, nie śpiwałeś. Ale, ale po prostu naprawdę czerwone maki duże wrażenie. Wzruszyłem się na tym koncercie. Pierwszy raz słyszałem Cię, jak śpiewałeś w Poznaniu. Wtedy, kiedy 
proszę Pani Prezydent, dobra była. Tak. A na otwarciu. <grym> tak. Nie raz na dniach polskich tak. tutaj. Ale ten, ten koncert tu zrobił największe wrażenie. I bardzo jestem bardzo zadowolony, że robimyśmy tego kooperację razem z Balka i możemy pomagać Balka, bo naprawdę to Balka zmieni się życie. Naprawdę nie jest zmieni życie. a great ambassador of Poland. Her role is very special because she teaches history to the younger generation. And not just factual history, but also all the emotions that are uh, connected with it. Like for example, today she was moved singing Czerwone Maki na Monte Cassino. She was moved and people were moved too because it's a very moving piece of our history. And there are many people in Poland, for example, they can talk about history, they can lecture history, but Katie's songs, you know, like today's concert, was better than 100 history lessons. Did you have a favorite song tonight that I sang? Well, all of them, I love them. What do you think of Czerwony Maki? What did you think of that? Well, we have this fresh in our memories from last weeks. You mentioned your contribution to commemorations in Italy in, uh, in a Casino. Of course, this is a very important part of our history, war history. And uh, of course, this uh, over 1,700 uh, young men, young soldiers who died during these battles and fights. I mean, we, we, we are responsible for carrying this memory and commemorating uh, their sacrifices uh, for next generations. This is really important. Thank you very much and thank you very much for having us here. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much.